Here's how to transform your AI generated images to videos using Pika Labs and upscale them for free. Pika Labs is a free AI video generator. It's still in beta, but you can access it by going to pika.art. All the links will be in the description. Click join beta, which sends you an invite to Pika's Discord server. Once you're inside the server, creating videos is simple. Let's scroll down to one of the generate chat rooms and use a direct message to enter a prompt. Type slash create and press space. Let's enter a prompt of a train in New York. Pika Labs will generate a video of our prompt. All right, that's not bad. It can be hard to keep track of our videos with other people generating in our chat room. To use a private chat room, click on the create threads button. Give it a name and send a welcome message. Now you can see your thread underneath the generate channel. Click on the thread to enter your private room. We can change the video parameters by typing dash followed by the parameter we want to change. Importantly, the aspect ratio can be changed by typing dash AR followed by the aspect ratio. If we type slash create, a bird flying dash AR 9 colon 16 will generate a vertical video of a bird flying. You can also try to change the amount of motion generated with the dash motion parameter. After your prompt, type dash motion followed by 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, where 0 is the least motion and 4 is the most motion. This doesn't always work that well, but I would always recommend you use dash motion space 4 if you want to see a lot of motion in your video. Now the cool part of Pika is that we can generate videos from our own reference images. Here's an image of birds on a branch I generated in mid-journey. To use our image as a prompt, type slash create, press space, and click on the plus one more option. Then select image from the pop-up menu. Upload your own image as a prompt. I'll upload an image of birds sitting on a branch, and then enter a prompt, birds on a branch. Pika automatically preserves the aspect ratio of your uploaded images in the generated videos. In my experiments, Pika works especially well on videos with environmental effects. I have this image of a thunderstorm I animated that looks pretty amazing. You can see the individual lightning strikes. Here are some realistic waves. Pika also does a great job with fire, as well as rain effects. I also really like how it does underwater lighting. In this generated video, you can see the light beams and the water effects clearly. The waves also have realistic motions. What it struggles with is maintaining integrity of human faces. I tried generating videos with some portraits from Midjourney, but it blurs them quite a bit and alters the structure of the face. Now these videos aren't high resolution, but we can upscale them two times using CapCut's free video upscaler. CapCut is TikTok's free video editor, and you'll need a free account to download the videos you upscale. Just upload your video into the interface, wait for it to be loaded, and then click upscale. Once it's done upscaling, you can preview the upscaled video in the web browser, or click export and then download. Like Pika, this AI upscaler works really well with environmental effects. Our water waves look way sharper in the upscaled image, and the fire from the tree also looks much more realistic. Here's city life at night, and don't forget about our birds on a branch. To upscale a new video, just click on create a new one. Unfortunately, this video upscaler also struggles with portraits. It might take a while before these AI video generators can reliably generate human faces. With CapCut, you're limited to 600 seconds or 10 minutes of video generated a month, but you can always create an alternative free account. Here's a couple of things to know. Pika Labs is still in beta and it generates only three second videos. There's been talk about extending the video generation length, but that's still in the future. The video AI can struggle with generating motion when you upload your own reference images. Here I've uploaded a picture of a bird flying to create a video, but the AI has a hard time making the wings flap. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe and I'll keep you updated on the latest mid-journey news and tips.